Hi, and welcome to Miss Pam Reads. Today we are reading A Tale of Two Kitties, Finding a Home, written by Angelique Archer, illustrated by Yuri Borgen. Ooh. Title page, right? A Tale of Two Kitties, Finding Home, written by Angelique Archer, illustrated by Yuri Borgen. All right. Based on a true story. This is Taco. He's 17 years old and he's had a good life. Taco lives in a warm house with tasty food and lots of love from his humans. You always hear the happy stories of how someone got their pet. Maybe it was a Christmas present or a special birthday gift. Most stories about pets don't start out sad like tacos. When he was just a kitten, a man decided he didn't want him anymore and threw Taco from his car. Instead of being hit by other cars on the dangerous street, Taco landed in a nice soft bush next to a Mexican restaurant. See, here he is up here. But Taco was trapped. For hours he tried his best to free his paws from the branches that held him captive. He cried and cried hoping somebody would find him. Yet the night grew colder, the rain came down, and a tired baby taco began to give up. His little head drooped in defeat. Suddenly, taco heard something coming towards the bush, something loud. Then the leaves rustled and two huge hands reached through the bush, headed right for him. Terrified, Taco wiggled and squirmed in the branches, scared they might be the same hands that threw him from the car. Hmm. But the big hands picked him up, and before he knew what was happening, he was being carried through the rain into a warm, dry car. A girl was inside waiting and she squealed with delight and eagerly took baby Taco in her arms, hugging him close to her heart. They took Taco home and made him a cozy bed, just like he'd always wanted. But he was so small, the girl had to feed him from a bottle until he got stronger. And he did. With each passing day, Taco grew bigger and bigger. With all the love he got, he no longer looked sad and afraid, but happy and safe and loved. Taco became a brave cat, always ready for a new adventure with his beloved humans, his best friends. And there were lots of adventures. In the spring, Taco ventured outside and explored, enjoying all the new signs of life, like the fresh flowers and baby animals. He went for walks in the neighborhood with his humans, and everyone who passed by smiled at the sight of a kitty on a leash. In summer, Taco traveled to the lake with his humans to celebrate the 4th of July. He tried surfing on a boogie board, but when he started paddling, the board flipped and he had to swim all the way back to shore. Hmm. For Halloween, Taco wore a costume, just like his humans. Sometimes he was a brave police officer. Other times he was a knight in shining armor. Taco helped his humans greet trick-or-treaters when they knocked on the door 
and usually the children liked taco more than the candy. Christmas was Taco's favorite holiday because it was such a special time of year. He decorated the Christmas tree with his humans and played in the brightly colored lights. When they weren't looking, Taco quickly ran into the kitchen and snuck a taste of the Christmas cookie batter. <laughs> Taco didn't care what he did as long as he was with his best friend, his guardian angels. He never wanted to be alone, worried he would wake up from this beautiful dream and find himself in the bushes again, abandoned. So he followed his humans everywhere, even into the bathtub. Life was good for Taco, and he was happier than he'd ever been. But one night, after he turned 17, his humans came home with an unexpected surprise. Taco, look what we found under a dumpster. In his human's arms was a dirty, shivering yellow kitten. This is Bean, your new little brother. Taco backed up angrily and hissed. He didn't want a little brother. He wanted things to go back to how they were when it was just him and his humans. This filthy kitten would steal all of their love for him and Taco would have nothing. Mm. Bean was so excited to have a nice home and humans who loved him. And he was thrilled to have a big brother. So he tried really hard to get Taco to like him. But Taco didn't want to share his toys, his kitty bed, or his food with the new kitten. Taco couldn't see anything other than how much his humans loved Bean, giving him more attention than they gave him. Taco felt old and unimportant, like they didn't want him anymore. The girl noticed how sad Taco looked and stood up and held him for a while. She reminded him that a long, long time ago, Taco had been in the same place as Bean, homeless and cold. Taco looked at Bean, just trying to make a friend. He remembered how small he himself had been when his humans saved him how he would have died if they hadn't come along. And he thought about how the last 17 years had been very, very happy. Taco realized Bean had been saved and needed love, just like he had all those years ago. He climbed out of his human's arms and picked up one of his favorite toys in his mouth. Then he carried it over to Bean and dropped it in front of him. Bean looked up excitedly, then pawed at the toy and tossed it back to Taco. Taco decided from that day forward that he would be a good big brother to Bean. Love and kindness had changed Taco's life for the better. And if a stray kitten like Taco could get a second chance at happiness, he would try his best to make sure Bean did too. And that is the end. And this book was gifted to me by someone that got it from the author just so we could read it to you guys on Miss Pam Reads. So here's information about the author. And if you liked the book, you can look up her information and see some of her other books. And here's information about the illustrator, because remember, the writer or the author is the one who writes the words, and the illustrator is the one who draws the pictures. And for this book, they were two different people. All right, you guys, thank you for joining me for Miss Pam Reads. Remember to subscribe to the channel so you'll get an update when a new story posts. Bye.